Hey guys, it's Jennifer. This is gonna be our next activity for teen artist group. And we are going to do a poured line watercolor. We're gonna be using several different types of paint and a couple different techniques. So let's go ahead and get started. You will need for this activity some black paint. I'm just using tempera. You could use acrylic if you had it. But you will need watercolor paints. And then of course, this paintbrush isn't gonna be the greatest, so I have my own paintbrushes. We have a few different sizes. And I have some cups, because we're gonna need cups for a couple things. And don't use your mom's nice things. Just use disposable cups. We're gonna use cups to rinse our paintbrushes, but we're also gonna use paint, this cup, to pour our paint. So to get started, you'll take your black paint. Notice, I have something covering my work surface so I don't make a mess because this is going to be messy. So make sure you do that also. Also, make sure you don't get this on your clothes. So what we do is we're going to slowly, slowly pour the paint out of the cup. And we're just going to make lines, okay? We're going to want a, quite a bit of white paper to be showing through. But we're also going to want to get some cool lines too. So you can go all kinds of directions. Okay. Oh. This is. We're gonna have to stop. It's too thin. Okay, so we're gonna start our pouring technique, and I put it into something that had kind of like a, a, a thing where you could help pour, and I watered my paint down just a little bit, and you're gonna need to pour pretty quickly so you get some lines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of freeform a pour here. Okay, so we're just gonna work pretty fast here. And back and forth. All right, I think that looks pretty cool. All right, okay. So now we just need to wait, this, wait for this to dry. And um, then we'll come back and use our watercolor in the white areas. Okay. Okay, so we are back. And um, we had to wait for our black pour painting to dry. It's completely dry now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our watercolor paints right here. And um, I did not like the paintbrush that came with it. So I got rid of it and I have these nicer ones. So I have watercolors and I have a glass of water and then I have a paper towel. Okay. Because when you use watercolors you'll get your brush wet okay just like this and then you'll dry it so it's not soaking wet and then you'll start you'll start getting your paint wet okay now since it's watercolors you need to add some water to get it to work so you'll fill the color up with or you fill your paintbrush up with color and you'll come over here to your paper and what you'll do is You'll just kind of decide which spots you want to fill in, and I'm picking green to start with. So I'm going to just fill in this spot with green. Okay. And then come over here and get more paint. I'm going to leave some of this part white, or I'm not going to paint all of this green because I'm going to come around with another color and kind of blend it into the green. So Think about what might look good with green. Uh, so you'll want to clean your brush really well, pat it dry. And I think I'll add some blue. So I'll do blue here and just kind of blend it in with the green. That looks a little wet, so I'm going to dry it. Okay, so you kind of get like this kind of teal color when you blend the green and the blue together. Okay, put a little bit of that blue there too. Okay, so next color, or you can pick the same colors, or you know, you could do all green and blue, or you could pick a few more colors. I'm gonna try purple here in one of my spots because I really like purple. And so I'll come over here and just paint around our black line We'll just do it right along here. 
get a nice amount of purple there and rinse it and I don't know what color should I mix it with how about let's do one of this red I think we'll get a really nice dark purple lightish purplish color when we do that so we'll just come over here and just fill it in and you can drag your purple and red through I feel like I don't have as much purple, so I'm gonna come back to the purple. And do a little bit more purple through there too, okay? So ultimately what you wanna do is you wanna fill your paper, all the white spots with your watercolor paint. So uh, thank you for watching this video and um, make sure that, uh, you know, if you wanna share your pictures, Go ahead, snap a picture of your art when you're done, and enjoy and have a good time. Thanks.